today's mobility training tip, I'm gonna cover a hip activation protocol that you can use before going into your main activity, regardless of sport, it's Jiu Jitsu, if it's a day in the office and you just wanna have your hips ready to go, basketball, the sport, you name it, these movements are foundational principles and movements that you should apply. So the first position we're gonna go into is a basic bridge, okay? Nothing new that I haven't covered before. We're getting into our bridge. We're stacking knees over ankles. Keep the hands flat. You can really put your hands wherever, okay? The main cue, pinch that quarter between your butt cheeks before you lift to get the pre-engagement. All four corners of the feet flat. Push hips up and allow the back of the neck to stay lengthened here. The key is breathing through. Lower belly, nostril breathing. As I spoke about in the previous video, at least six breaths in the position. That gives us the physiological response to be calm and relaxed. If we're doing it all panicked and whatnot, our body's gonna store the movement as something it doesn't want because it's easy to stress. By doing it in a calm, relaxed fashion, it will store that motor programming for us to hold this position where glutes are engaged, front half of the body's open, that's instrumental in life, athletic performance, etc. across the board. So we do that six breaths. I would at least do one. And depending on this, your need of activation, you can do two sets, three sets, four sets. But again, six deep breaths, and I'd like to get maximal contraction and engagement, especially before an activity. Now, half a block, the next position I want to add to the sequence is a 90-90 series, okay? So I cover a few different 90-90 positions. Plug and chug as you please. But we have the basic one where we're here. We're pushing our heel and our knee down into the ground like we're mashing the ground. Five to 10 second engagement. Then relax, use your hand support, your basic support here to push your head over your hips. It's the center of your center of gravity, okay? You have that. If you do that one, I would do three sets per side. If that's maybe just not as advanced for you, and you need a little more, we do the one where we prop our foot up, and we do five to 10 seconds mashing the block, like we're trying to mash it to the ground, and then five to 10 seconds where we're trying to lift our foot off the block without compensating and leaning. Again, the head over hips or center of gravity. So a five to 10 second push, five to 10 second lift. Each side, I would do at least three sets per side. And then you can sequence and add in more, like our ISO holds. I like to do this hold about 20 to 30 seconds, roughly. Again, that lower belly abdominal breathing. Because again, you're only going to signal for the hips to open and activate and be strong and stable and mobile by breathing through the lower belly and being in a relaxed fashion. And then we can also do hovers. I normally only do like three of these at a time. My legs personally are just uh, the hips are not the best, so this is a, this is a sequence I am using a lot. So you have those. Layer those however you please, but just make sure the second part of the sequence is some 90-90 work. Last one is your activity is going to probably require you to stand. If you need a wall for balance, you can use that. But it's going to be here, hand wherever, overhead. I like here, balance one leg. We have our hip control articular rotations. So eyes are on a fixed object, staying open here. And it's working that hip around through its full range of motion. So now that you feel like my right shoulder gets kind of tight, so I sometimes just put it here to kind of keep open through that area. And honestly, it feels like it creates more space in my hip. I would aim for at least three to five of those per side. And if you want to make this more extensive where this is a workout in itself, you just add more sets of each of those. And if you look back and hips are kind of a thing, in my previous video that I covered, I went over a low back protocol where you could add this in after the low back protocol and it should make you feel really good for activity. Now with all this though, you always got to be mindful of positioning. You know I'm a stickler to those things. So just be mindful of the breath, the area of the body that you're activating. That's going to go a long way in allowing this to help you move better, perform better, and honestly go about your day and not be worrying about this thing so you can go do stuff and enjoy stuff. That's what it's really about. Enjoying being in the flesh suit, moving around, having fun, enjoying life.